Okay, we are live. Welcome to the the Brave and Bold podcast, episode two, with my co-host Takan Raman, aka uh, HR15. Any wise words you want to say? Uh, no, I got no words for now. Okay, let's get into it then. San Diego Comic Con, it's uh, it's finally over, and we've we have a lot to talk about because uh, we haven't done it. We literally have been keeping uh, everything to ourselves the past week, so it's been really painful. Like. Because that was the problem with the, the the first episode that we did. Because we did a discussion before the day before, the first podcast. Oh yeah. yeah so it felt like we just kept repeating ourselves like the entire day when we were recording. Mm-hmm. Yeah. But never yeah. mind. Uh, I think we actually know what we're doing now for once. Um. So let's just get straight into it. Comic Con. It was bloody good. It was bloody bloody good. Yes. The thing is, I wish yeah. I was there. Showed sure, up oh. so many trailers as well. Yeah. Um, we can clearly say that Warner Bros. won that convention this year. Oh, oh, definitely. By a mile. Definitely. It's the clear winner. Like, all the the top five trailers this week were all Warner Bros. trailers, so that's, yeah, that's that. a clear indication. Um, so, let's start out small first. Well, not small, but like, not cinematic. Uh, Young Justice. We finally have oh, new We finally, oh, finally, 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 finally have new like, five, five years, five years, and we finally have new info not new information, new uh, animation. Trailer. We finally have a freaking trailer for this, man. Yeah, um, okay, it was like a five minute trailer, but um, I was like, whoa, they're doing five minutes of animation, and I was like, oh, hang on. <laughs> then when you actually see it, it's like the, the first two thirds of the actual trailer are just a recap of the uh, of yeah, season yeah, two exactly. with like with like the Reach invasion and Molly's death, spoiler alert, but it's been five years, so you should have seen it by now. And if you haven't, you're an yeah. idiot. Um, You've been living under a rock. Yeah, pretty much. Um, and so let's discuss what's like been uh, shown into the trailer. Yeah, well, it's 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 a trailer that's it's more of a teaser, I think, because like there's no story at all that's been mentioned, except for the whole outsiders and metahuman trafficking, which again we already know. Um, other than that, it's just like short snippets of like animation, but that's that's really it, showing new characters off and returning characters as well. But that's really oh, it. Yeah. And which again I'm happy with because the fact that we have like animation to show is that yeah. we've seen is is great. Um, again, I'll probably watch the panel later. I still haven't seen a panel for for any of them actually. Because uh, yeah, no one live streams, which is annoying. Like they should actually live stream the the conventions when, yeah. when people are there. But I think everything's out now, or, like on YouTube and like other websites. Yep. Uh, so back to Young Justice. Um, so yeah, it's it's again it's just focused on meta human trafficking. There's another massive time massive time gap uh, between season two and three, again which we know. Um, the the original uh, team have basically gone rogue and do doing their own thing until like they come back when this crisis happens. Um, and yeah. yeah, it's just great to see because like my favorite character to be honest are like the old guard from season one. Um, and yeah, it's that, that we actually have like, it's, it's really weird seeing like, uh, the, the superheroes like without their costumes for the first time in a while. They're like, yeah, they're like the, the Black Ops team. Yeah. Um, and that like, there's this whole, uh, uh, chaos going in, uh, the Markovian country, uh, which I've never heard of before, um, that their princess Tara or Terra, I don't know if it's Terra from Teen Titans, is it? I don't know. Uh, people Wait, are saying it's terror. Uh, Tara. Because everyone's like, oh, she's she's got a meta gene and she's powerful and that's why she got kidnapped. I don't know. Like. Uh, yeah, but we don't know. Like, uh, well, we know that she has meta human powers, but we don't know if it's like the powers that terror has. Yeah. The, the rock powers. So. Um. Again, we still have to see. It's still early days. Yeah, it should yeah. release uh, late, late 2019. Um, I'm definitely gonna buy that subscription service, especially if it's what five, six quid per per exactly. month. That's great. Uh, yeah, Young Justice is great. All the voice actors are back. We got Troy Baker, Nolan North, uh, and everyone else. Uh, did we? And there was a poster as well at Comic Con, and we did see uh, the Outsiders with Vandal Savage and Darkseid. Oh yeah, and the fact that like Orion is in the trailer shows like shit's gonna go oh, down. Oh like the new guys did. Yeah. I got so Dude, I was like, what? I didn't expect I them like, to like go full out. I didn't expect them to like go full on out with like new gods, so 
I'm excited for that as well. Like, yeah, exactly. they, yeah, yeah. And even like characters that we already know and seen, like Katana. I'm really glad that Katana is actually getting like screen time because she didn't get enough screen time like live action and like Metamorpho and more like B list characters as well. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, but yeah, like, I I don't think they've um, announced how many episodes it's been for season one. I'm hoping it's thirty. And would you would you like it to have like every you know like a Netflix show like what they announced with the Titans yeah. that everything's going to be released in one go or would you have it weekly? Uh, that's actually a good question. I think I want to have it in one go. Yeah. Yeah, because the fact I think that means they can like do season four quicker than yeah exactly yeah the, uh but like what returning characters would you want to see um from season one to season two i want to see like red arrow because the fact that he's pretty much married now to cheshire and he's got a kid uh i want to see what he's up to i want to see uh i want to see more arsenal I want to see what he's been oh doing. yeah, like he's like the renegade of the group. No one really likes him in in season two. Like he, he his arc was extremely interesting. The fact that yeah. he was taken like I, I was shocked by that when I found out there were two uh, red arrows and Roy Harper. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um. Uh, I want to see like more of Lex Luthor. Mm. Like the I like. Uh, he, I think we are gonna be seeing more because I think yeah. we did see a little bit of him in the trailer. Uh, I love the dynamic between uh. Uh, what's it? Uh, what impulse and 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 uh, Ooh, yeah, Blue Beetle. I love the dynamic because it's so funny, uh, especially in season two. Just the banter that they yeah. give off. Um, and yeah, again, his 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 comedic uh, uh, effect will continue in season three because he did say he was he said a joke in in the trailer. I forgot what it was, but he did say a joke, so he is still the comedy relief of the team. Uh, Beast mm-hmm. Boy was not in the trailer. I I, I clocked. I still haven't seen him. Uh, Doctor Fate, I'd like to see him back. He he had a, he was a glimpse in the trailer as well. Doctor Fate, um, is he is he still the I want to see a uh, different Green Lantern to be on the team or something like that. Oh or yeah, Carina. Yeah, yeah, yeah. On the team. Yeah, like have him like the same age as like Nightwing and Superboy, like oh, yeah, more like, in the yeah, adult bracket. Because I love I like the way that Young Justice settles. It's like adults, then it's like teenage, like a. Like young young adults, like teenagers, and then there's like the kids. Um, I like the way they do that a lot. Um, and then there's what there's it's it's quite a big cast actually. I'm kind of like, how do they handle? They did they did really well in season two anyway, but like the fact that the cast is going to be bigger in this season. Uh, yeah. So like, uh, it, it's it's kind of annoying because like I know like some characters are going to get more screen time than others, but like what are you going to do, especially with a cast this big? Um, yeah. Villains, um, again, I think Darkseid and like Vandal Savage will be the overarching villains. They'll be hinted at uh, from time to time, but like it's gonna yeah. be like this whole meta-human crisis uh, and trafficking that's going on, which is gonna be like the, I guess, the main front face villain for the season. Yeah. Uh, so, anything else to say about Young Justice season three? Um, uh, I want to get an arc for Nightwing. Uh, I'm pretty sure I want to see. Um, something for Nightwing, you know, give him like an arc or something like that. Yeah, because yeah, we we need more. Yeah, have a fight scene between him and Deathstroke or something like that. Oh yeah, yeah. And they, that was the one thing I didn't like about uh, Young Deathstroke's design in Young Justice. I did not like in season two. I think they changed that up for season three. He had like this stupid long strand of hair coming out of his uh, the back of his mask. It's like a, uh, what's that called? It's like a. It's like a ponytail. Yeah, ponytail. Yeah, I did. I did not like that design. Like, how could you screw up Deathstroke's design? Come on, seriously. Yeah, exactly. But I think they Brother fixed it up here. Did it. Right. <laughs> they did alright. Yeah, yeah, they fixed it up though in in uh, season three. Um, yeah. but overall, I'm just glad that it's back. Like, I'm I'm so happy. Yeah, I've never same, been like same. the fact that the fact that we. I'm happy that like it's Young Justice. The fan base is one of those actually good, clean fan bases. Like every fan base that I know actually has like a toxic side to it, but I haven't seen that from Young Justice yet at all. It's got like a loyal fan base. Yeah, like it's all positive. The fact that like it was because of the fans that we got this show back on, on where it was. Yeah. That, the fact that it's not cancelled anymore. 
um, and I remember the days where it was just the worst feeling where like it was cancelled but you never knew if it was going to be back on or that was the I remember that was being the worst feeling ever yeah, I was like yeah. shit but the fact that this is back is a clear indication that T- Teen Titans season 6 could be somehow done and yeah. I had rumours that like it apparently is coming back depending on the yeah, success of the that, movie I think I've heard that it's in the works but they haven't really said anything else yeah. for uh, Teen Titans yeah, like, that would be another, like, oh my god, the fact, if anyone that's grown up, like, within the 90s or, like, the early 2000s, the fact that you've watched, like, you've grown up watching Teen Titans cancelled, Samurai Jack cancelled, Young Justice cancelled, and it's just a great feeling that all of the shows are back, Yeah. done yeah. with care. Um, yeah, it's, it's just, it's just really nice to, like, think about. Um... Feeling a little nostalgic right now. Oh yeah, yeah, man. Tight. Oh man. Like when I first saw Young Justice on Cartoon and and Teen Titans. Like I'm, um, I'm literally. I don't know if I should. Oh, when is Teen? When is the Teen Titans go coming out? It's in. It's already out in America, but I think it's coming out next week in, in the UK. I'm debating if I should watch it. I'm actually serious. Because like I keep hearing some good reviews. Everyone's saying for, it's uh, like Teen better than. Go. It's it's got like a high. I don't care about Ron Tomatoes. I don't look at like articles and reviews like that to be honest it's it's all up to me but i'm like how is this ranked everyone's saying this is better than deadpool and it's pg but it's still better than deadpool and it's better than other any other dc oh, film right, i'm like hang on whoa 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 Wait, what <laughs> teen titans okay i do not like teen titans go i do not i i don't like yeah, what they're doing with it like the like. fact that Cartoon Network are like Cartoon Network have gone downhill ever since 2012 2011 oh uh, yeah definitely once their old guard of like shows finished so like old school Ben 10 Generator X uh Teen oh, Titans Generator yeah, X was like shit yeah like like why can't just like Marvel or DC just like take the rights for, from Man of Action and just be like let's just make a, a comic series for it and make it more mature I'd love to see that Bro, Generator X meeting up with the Avengers. That's a sick yeah. crossover. Hey, the Ben 10 Generator X crossover was insane. Oh, I remember yeah, I was so insane. hyped for that. When 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 Upgrade went on Generator X, uh, when, when he went on his like oh. nanites, and I was like, what? That's so sick. Yeah, that was sick. Yeah, man, nostalgia overload right now. Um, Yeah, but like, Captain Network have gone downhill, and same with like, they've, they've ruined Teen Titans for me. They've ruined... Uh, are they like Powerpuff Girls and 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 Ben Ten? Oh my lord, what they did with Ben Ten and and they're ruining uh, Thundercats as well. So sorry for the Thundercats oh, card. I feel oh so my bad God, for them. Don't get me started on Thundercats. You see the designs? I haven't like seen oh, the, so t- the designs, man. They look so <laughs> disgusting. To me. They look terrible. Oh, they look terrible. And this is official. And how did Caesar? How did the yeah. you know the twenty eight tw- the twenty eleven Caesar that got cancelled? That as well got cancelled. The Green yeah, Lantern animated series got cancelled as well. What? Oh, oh, God. Gosh, man. Yeah, like, I've given up. I don't even watch any of that anymore. It's, it's kind of sad. Like, I would love... Like, I know America have Toonami, but that's not here anymore. Like, if there's, like, a dedicated, like, program, a channel that just, like, airs, like, old-school cartoons and anime, like, back in oh. the day, like, old-school Cartoon Network, if there was, like, a dedicated channel like that now, I swear to God, I'd watch it all day. That'd be the only channel I'd watch. Yeah, 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 yeah. Because I remember the days of just like watching like cartoons uh, all day every day when I when I came home on like Jetix and old school Cartoon Network. This is like uh, pre Disney oh, XD era. Jetix. This is pre Disney XD man. Jetix was the shit. Oh my god. Oh, gosh man. Yeah. The thing is, I think I have like a really really old like retrospective video on on like Jetix. I don't know if I should upload it or not. It's it's very cringe. This is like when I just started out YouTube. I don't know. Like I still have it on my phone. I think. It's really bad, but like I might upload it just for the the sake of it. Yeah. Um. But yeah, rest in peace, Jetix. You'll always be in our memories. Uh, I think we're going a bit off topic right now. So, uh, Teen Titans Go. Oh, yeah. Sorry, people. We're just like going into our nostalgia. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, <laughs> yeah. Sorry, no, sorry. Um, I'm sure everyone does that anyway. Um. Yeah. <laughs> back to Teen Titans Go. Um, I'll I'll give it a watch to support like. The thing is, I don't know. Actually, yeah, I'll give it a watch to like support support the film so that we can actually get a season six. Um, and I want to see like the jokes that they have in it because not gonna lie, the 
There, some of them are cringe, like that fart joke that the balloon man did in one of the trailers. That was not funny at all. That was more cringe than anything. Um, but like the, the Deadpool joke was yeah, funny. Yeah. The th- I, what I like about it is that they're not taking themselves seriously. <laughs> but that's it. But other than that, yeah, that's pretty much it. So and the voice yeah. and the voice cast. So the fact that I think Michael Keaton is doing Batman. Uh, Nicholas Cage is doing Superman, and then the, the Titans cast are returning. Um, okay, so other than that, animation is done. Let's go on to the heavy hitters. Uh, let's start with Shazam. Oh, Shazam! Oh, dude, dude, when oh, this trailer dropped, I had to like, I had to like take a minute. Trailer. I had to like, I remember I was just like refreshing the the the, the page, like because you know all the panels were going on um, on Saturday, I think. And I was yeah. like, when's it coming out? When's it coming out? So I kept refreshing the refresh button on my my computer. But YouTube, I did that. I, I was doing that on my phone. Yeah, I was like refreshing on YouTube. And yeah. I was like, and then like, oh. then I see the thumbnail covered up. Like, yes. Let me just like cl- close the lights and uh, get a bottle of water just to drink because I was I was getting really thirsty. Um. And that like I love that trailer so much. It, it's so good. Uh, this trailer like. I've never is, seen I've never seen a comic book fun. accurate trailer like this ever ever. Yeah. Uh, this trailer is like fun. And that's like, yeah. But that's it's, it's not Marvel fun, it's, it's like, like its own thing. Yeah. Hmm. Um Even like even the music choice was great. The fact that it just like meshes like it, it goes to the beat with like the the footage. Mm. Um Um let me just pop the trailer now actually. Um, yeah, I think the standout character for this trailer, I'm not going to lie, is uh, Freddie Freeman. I forgot his actor's name. He's an it oh. as well. Yeah, yeah. That dude. Yeah, Freddie, you see, such a comic geek. Yeah. Movie. Like, the fact that he, he says... Yeah. The fact that he says, you have bullet immunity is, is a clear indication he's a geek. Like, he doesn't he didn't say bulletproof. He says bullet immunity. Says bullet Come immunity. On. <laughs> <laughs> That's great. I love it. Um... And yeah, it's it's uh, like it's clearly New Fifty Two Shazam. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Clearly New Fifty Two, like, um, and that's what I like about Shazam. Really, he's he's quite a flawed character. Like, uh, actually, uh, oh sorry, wait, you go first. No, you go. Okay, it's alright. It's alright. Uh, uh, I I just want to say yeah, for the people that are like complaining about oh it's it's trying to copy Marvel or something like that or it's it's copying. Uh, Deadpool in a way I don't even understand why it's like, like why? Deadpool's the only Deadpool's, Deadpool's literally the way. only comedy movie people have seen look for God's like, sake everyone Shazam he's a he's a he's a little kid so I, you wouldn't want to see a little kid in a very dark movie that's, yeah. that's not what Shazam's about yeah. he's a fun uh, like charismatic yeah. uh, superhero yeah. he's a like, little kid who becomes an adult yeah. And has freaking got superpowers. Yeah. Of course, this trailer would be all fun and you know have yeah. some cracking jokes and all that. It's so like yeah. I don't want to keep hearing from people. Oh, it it looks trash or something like that. Or it's it's not on par with Marvel or something like that. Yeah. I can't be off hearing that. Um, yeah, and it's so if you got powers right now, what the first thing you do? You'd mess around with it, isn't it? You wouldn't go exactly. Yeah, yeah, yeah exactly. exactly. You, like you see him dancing, you do, he he's doing the Fortnite dance. Of course you would do that. Oh, he's charging oh. people's phones. He's of course you would that's do that. Point of him. He's a kid, and that's what yeah, I like exactly. about it. The what I like about Shazam is like he. I think I saw this in another trailer review. Um, he oh. brings a. I'm paraphrasing right now. He like he brings a pers- a new perspective for heroes. The fact mm. that. Um, people like Superman and Batman, they carry something like they have to carry like a burden on them. Um, mm-hmm. says Billy Batson is a superhero who th- oh, I don't have to explain it. He's like he his perspective is that he thinks what superhero should be, the way he acts. Yeah, he's gonna definitely. be the most superhero superhero. I don't know. It's, it's the most superhero superhero character in this universe. He's gonna be like a little cheesy. Yeah. Yeah, the, and that's how superheroes are games. usually seen as they're cheesy characters who save mm. the day and like act heroic um and um 
Oh, I know that's the thing that pisses me off. It's everyone's qu pretty much 50-50 on the suit. I like it. I like yeah, the suit like a lot. I don't know why people are like complaining. They're very, they're being very hypocritical. When when the Superman suit was showed in Man of Steel and Batman Superman, they're like, "Oh, it's too dark. Let it be more bright and more comic accurate and, and more colorful." Shazam comes out. There has been different iterations of the suit, right? Yeah. Um. Yeah, and and then there's people that are like, "Oh, Shazam's, uh, Shazam's suit. costume's I... way too colorful." What the. <laughs> What? It's it's what you mean? Way too colorful. It's comic book accurate. Clearly, exactly. it's golden age Shazam. Uh, look, I hate when people say, but it's not the comic. It's the movie. Oh God, dear. But like, what? Do you even read the comics? No, you don't. So be quiet. Shh. Yeah, exactly. Be quiet. Oh yeah, uh, I've read something about the the villain for this movie. Doctor uh, Savannah. Doctor Savannah, Savannah. I think yeah. that's his name. Yeah. Um. So what I've heard is that when Dr. Savannah was young, he mm -hmm. was actually supposed to get the powers of Shazam, mm -hmm. but it rejected him. And ever since then, he's always been trying to get the powers of Shazam. Yeah. So in this movie, he's probably going like, to find a way to steal Billy's uh, powers. Yeah. Um, and I think he's, like the New 52, he's going to be I the like gateway. That, you know? He'll be the gateway to Black Adam, I think. Mm-hmm. Um, Oh, another another scene that's comic book really accurate. For Black Adam. I I let them be quiet on that. Let Shazam do really yeah. well. I think if that does really well, which I think it definitely is, it's gonna be a sleeper hit. Like, no one. The fact that it's like, like a dark movie, but it's gonna like empower people or something like that. I don't know. Well, Black Adam's gonna be dark. It's gonna be. It's gonna kick off. Dark. Like, legit. Yeah. Um, and the fact that like if if Shazam does well, and people are hyped for Black Adam. Especially the the Rock will bring in money anyway. He 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 brings in yeah, people, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah, and true, then true. like a Shazam sequel where they fight, and the fact that Black Adam already has a movie and people have like grown to like respect the character, and like he slowly turns into like an anti hero slash villain. Um, I want to see that transition because the fact that you ugh, it, it's it's going to be so good. It's, it's literally going to be so good, and the Rock's a great casting. Yeah. Um, mention like just just mention Kandak or mention like there was a previous uh, wielder of uh, the magic. Yeah, I think, I think the wizard is probably going to say that he was like, "Oh, I chose someone before you, but something, something." Yeah, or like um, an after credit scene where Doctor Savannah like opens like a tomb in Kandak and then like he appears. Oh. Um, another scene that I love is uh, when he's on the train again. Common book Acura, uh, New Fifty Two. Oh yeah. He's in the train. You hear. Billy Batson, I've cho I've chose you, and I was like, oh god, Pokemon. That's no, no, that was the first thing I that I thought when he was like, I choose you. But well, when he says as champion, it, it's okay. When he says as a champion, um, um, and then like he walks out, he sees the was it the the Rock of Eternity, comic accurate. Like props to the people that are like making the sets for these. Exactly. Um, like you see all the seven chairs of like all the seven uh, guardians. Seven deadly sins. Yeah. And the seven wizards. Um, I hope they don't push too forward on the seven deadly sins thing, because the seven demons. That was the one problem about the new Fifty Two comic. Uh, it was a bit convoluted with that. Just keep it, Doctor uh, Savannah yeah. and Shazam. Um, mm -hmm. And you know, uh, like this movie is kind of like a, a Christmas movie, to be honest. Yeah. It is and it it has like that. Um, it gives you like this nineties feeling because yeah. like when you're watching this trailer it was like a 90s yeah kind of film. like home alone and like other christmas films yeah, it's like, like that. home alone mixed with like jingle all the way yeah like it has that sense of family which is definitely gonna have because like the shazam family are clearly in it yeah that's actually what the, the one thing i want to see i want to see more family interactions yeah. oh yeah really like that's happening at the end that's clearly like when freddie freeman gets his powers oh my lord he's gonna oh my god that's when Freddie Freeman gets his like when the entire family get their powers this is gonna be so fun I'm looking forward to that you know I'll, I'll cry I'll legit cry dude I'm happens. so excited for that <laughs> even the cat got powers and he became a tiger oh that's the best um and if Superman has to appear like Henry Cavill has to appear in this film yeah as a cameo like a rooftop it's like in front of in front of like Billy and Freddie and then they'll just be geeking out 
Yeah, they'll just be geeking out so much. Um, <laughs> um, what else? What else? What else? Aquaman. Okay. Oh, Aquaman. Aquaman. Okay. But this trailer was freaking sick, man. It was mad. <laughs> <laughs> it was. It. This is like the. This is the blockbuster for next year. This is I mean, this, oh it's crap! So it's this sick, year. Man. It's crazy. I just totally forgot. It's this year. Yeah, I know. December, fam. December. Dude, I oh, I thought Shazam was coming out this year and Aquaman was next year. Thinking how like, do it. No, I can no. see why James Wan said that wait till Comic Con, because I remember they were like, oh, the trade is gonna drop like, uh, knows, in like, March. Knows, it? It's gonna the trade is gonna drop for Aquaman in, in April, in May. But like the guys like, no, hold it, hold it, let the CGI finish. And yeah, it was good yeah. timing. I'm he I'm knows, happy that we waited this long. Like this trailer did not disappoint. I mean like. <laughs> Dude, I me, like, oh the amount of times I like I shouted out loud it um when bro, when stuff happened. Atlantis out. looks so sick. Like I just can't get over it. Yeah. It so oh, it's like you want to go there. Exactly, bro. The, see, Screw my Wakanda, I was. Bro. Like, Screw Wakanda. Actually, no, I'm just kidding. <laughs> no, okay, no, no. Let's no, just no. clarify this, okay? The, okay, one thing that's pissing me off right now. Okay, everyone's like, oh, our commands water Wakanda, but it's Wakanda underwater. I'm like, be quiet. Oh my god, like when people are comparing Aquaman to Black Panther. I'm like, okay. Like, what the? Black, okay, okay, hang on, hang on. Black Panther, that means Black Panther is copying Throne of Atlantis then. So be quiet. Yeah. It's really annoying. Oh, and I hate when people say, uh, Black Panther, actually, no, Aquaman is copying the Throne of Atlantis. And Aquaman's but not king yet. It's not even that blood related, anyways. Aquaman's not king yet. The fact that he's half human and half Atlantean. While mm. while Black Panther's full on like Wakandan. You know what? Look, I, I want to show this trailer to any Black Panther fan yet, yeah? and I'm gonna make them like watch the trailer and look at that one scene where that when Mira and Aquaman are dropping into Atlantis, and you see that red light, mm -hmm. and when the fish were like coming down. Oh, the trench! Oh, that bit! Yo, I'll make them watch that bit. Dude, like, yo, I need to watch this yo, film in IMAX. What you that, 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 that shot right there where like the camera is out and you can just see everything. That, that oh. I need to see that in IMAX right now. I need oh, to see IMAX. that in IMAX. Oh, God, oh. Like, I legit died right there. Like, okay, okay. The Times where I screamed, like, not screamed, but like shouted and like got hyped. Um, Atlantis? I was like, yes! Like I shouted out yes because I was like, that's how you do it. Because yeah, I, exactly. I didn't know what to think from Atlantis. Uh, Ocean Master, like, and his like his voice. He's like, my brother's come to take the throne. Um, Black Manta. Black Man. Oh. First of all, I didn't think they would show the full suit. You just see him take the helmet off in one shot. And I, like, jumped out of my seat. I was like, yes! And then, like... Oh, when the latest came out of his helmet. Oh, oh my... I, I jumped for that. Oh, that's sick. Yes! That's how you do it. The thing is, yeah, it's... it's when I was younger, I thought Black Manta had a stupid costume, but like it's it's come to grow on me. I mean, for what I've read, what I like, saw, yeah, his suit was kind of like stupid at the time. Yeah. But, like it, it's slowly growing on me because of yeah. like Injustice Two and that. Oh, the so. yeah, it's it's clear from the Injustice Two like design. Mm -hmm. Um. Uh, I love the 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 fish, the creatures, but they look so sick. Oh yeah. And and the, uh, was it the last bit? Um. With the, the having like a war. Oh yeah, like underwater war. Oh god. Yeah. Um, let's backtrack a bit. Um, what also like is the you know when he's getting bullied at the beginning. Oh yeah. Yeah, and like you just see him, his eyes glow, and that shot where the all fish are behind him, everyone's just shook of him. Love that shot. Uh, and that that that's you know? that's the perfect casting. <laughs> that kid. Like he yeah. looks like a young Jason Momoa. Mm -hmm. Um. You know, I, yeah. Yeah, you know what my, um, actually, yeah, I, I said this when I was watching the trailer, yeah, I was like, the Chronicles of Shark Boy now lives. <laughs> <laughs> uh, uh, but I'm going to get hated on that. <laughs> um, what happened after? Yeah, we're going to have his origin, so, like, his dad and his mum meet. Mm -hmm. Um, what happened after the kid? Oh, yeah, okay, so you see him, like... Super speed in, like he's pretty much flying on the water. Superman speed, uh, he, 
attacks that submarine and then like he lifts it up to the oh, ocean. Yeah, lifts it up, and I was like, that, oh, "That's how you shit. do it, yeah." Because like we the in Justice League we didn't really see his full on like strength. Mm-hmm. Um, so I'm looking forward to that. Like I want to see like what he can actually do. Um, he like a teenage version of uh, of like. Oh yeah, yeah! I've seen that actor before. I've seen that actor yeah, before. I, I don't know where he is from. You know, like when I was watching that bit, I was like, wait, he looks so familiar. Yeah. Have I seen this guy before? Yeah. And again, he, he looks like, like a teenager, uh, Jason Momoa. Yeah, honest, yeah, he looked like Brendan Dwight. Yeah, I, yeah, that was in the back of my head as well. I was like, Is that Brendan. <laughs> <laughs> um, yeah, like I think I like how it's an origin story. Again, just DC, just keep it like <laughs> slow. The new management's doing well. Walter Hamad is a G. He's just. He's a boss. Um, yeah. What else? What else? Uh, yeah. He, oh, yeah. Volko. We still haven't seen him yet in anything. Um, oh. Yeah, he was going to be in Justice League. We'll, we'll talk about the director's cut later. Um, keep it <laughs> Aquaman. And Mera. Oh, my God. Oh, I'm in love. I'm, I'm, sold. God, I'm in love. I'm sold. I'm, I'm clearly sold. I'm literally in love with, with Mera and Amber Heard. Redheads, you got to love them. Yeah, like, there you go on point quote <laughs> literally on point like that like I've never seen such a beautiful redhead in my life exactly um and yeah she's yeah they're pretty much gonna play up on like the, the romance between them two which yeah which I'm up for um and I wanna see like water bending, like clear cut water bending from her like <laughs> on, yeah well I don't have to call it aqua powers <laughs> I guess um <laughs> The Gladiator match looks sick uh, between Ocean Master oh. and um, Ocean Master and, and, and Arthur. Um, what I love, I just love little details like the jellyfish are the ones that light up the Colosseum. Oh yeah, yeah. A shot by shot, you see turtles like carrying stuff. You see armored battle sharks and battle sea dragons. Oh. Yeah, when they're riding on the shot, and you got like sea, armored sea horses. Yeah, like whoa. Like, like, sea horses, people. Oh man, I want like yeah, like, and they said Aquaman ain't cool. Imagine him where like Jason Momoa on uh, on a sea dragon like that. Oh my god! Like you know, like this that Super Friends episode where Aquaman's riding a seahorse and he's like, oh, everything's oh, yeah, that, yeah, yeah. I've, I've if, heard that one. if they recreate that scene, but like in a more badass version in the film, I would clap. I'd literally applaud yeah, them. Would, like change their perspective about Aquaman. Yeah, and I think they have already. Because yeah. of like Jason Momoa's casting, and what I love is that um, did you watch Conan O'Brien's uh, talk show? Was it last oh, at yeah, Comic Con? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I saw. yeah, yeah. The fact that Conan was like, "Oh, you have to thank James Wan for casting Aquaman." Nope, James Wan was like on on TV. He was like, "Nope, uh, thank you, Zack Snyder." So I, I was really happy when when he said that. Because uh-huh. like if it's, it's it's all it was all it all links back to Zack Snyder. Mm-hmm. Um, other things about oh, I love the quote where where Ocean Master is like. I'm gonna bring the wrath of the seven seas with me, and then like you see him on that sea dragon that's just gonna swallow that 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 crab. Oh yeah. And you can clearly tell Ocean Master's armies are the one with sharks. Mm-hmm. Um, and again, I just want to see more of Atlantis. I want to see more like stuff to do with Atlantis. Um, yeah. I'm hoping it's like a two and a half hour film. Because it's a compl- yeah. it's like a mix of like the Throne of Atlantis arc, the Trench arc, uh, and like his origin as well. Um, other yeah, things. Yeah, a flashback, so I like that. Yeah. Um. How can they? Do you think they can like hint at other stuff like to expand the universe? You know, now that you mention it, um, there was. Okay, in the trailer, yeah, there was like Mera and Aquaman, they were in some desert or something. Yeah. Why do you think they were... I, I, I don't know, like, why they were there, but, like, what do you think? Um, it's probably, like, an ancient Atlantean relic they have to find. Um, it's, uh, it's like... Have you read the others? Have you read Jeff Johns' run on Aquaman, New 52? Yeah. Yeah, yeah, you know when they're in that desert and they just, they're looking for the Aquaman, that not Aquaman, the Atlantean relic. It's like the symbol that he's got. Oh uh, yeah. I yeah. think it's gonna be linked to that, but again, we don't know what desert that is. It could be, you know, Kandak. It could be a gateway in. Just to yeah, just to yeah, imagine, yeah, imagine they 
with hints to conduct. Oh my god. Yeah, yeah, hopefully that is, yeah. Yeah. Um, Patrick Wilson's gonna nail it as an ocean master. Yeah, like, perfect costume actor. Um, what I like is that they have both perspect- both types of villains in Aquaman. So we have, like, Black Manta, who's gonna be more like the, the Magneto, the Killmonger-type role. Where, like, you see where he's coming from, even though he's, he's, he's evil, and, like, he's a prick. Yeah. But, like, you can still sympathise with Black Manta. And yeah. then there's, like, the one that you just want to die. Like, you just want to get killed badly and brutally as Ocean Master. And I can see that already from the trailer. Like, he... Patrick Wilson's, like, portrayal of Ocean Master, it's like, you, you want to hate him. You want to hate him so much. But at the same time, you want to, like, sympathise him for some reason. Mm. Because, like, his people got... Pretty much got killed. Again, I'm not dropping that yeah, theory yeah, about... I, I think that, that, that's what they're doing. That, um... That the humans have been messing around with the, yeah. the ocean. Uh, Man of Steel. Open, like, it's Man of Steel. They need to. They need to link it back to Man of Steel. That's 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 yeah. the best link that they can do. The world engine is directly under uh, Atlantis. I mean, directly over Atlantis when when Man of Steel was happening. Um, and the trailer. The trailer music was great for Command as well. Oh yeah. Like, it, I, it, I'm also happy with, like listening to that. Dude, I needed water. Like, when the trailer finished, I was like, I need water right now. I literally gulped the whole bottle of water. Like, Comic-Con's the best, man. I know. Um. Like an early park mitzvah. Yeah. <laughs> um. Is... Wait, is Aquaman's dad alive? Is... Is... Is, is Arthur Curry's uh, dad alive in the film? Or is it like through flashbacks? I think he is, but he's yeah. I think his dad's still alive. Oh okay, yeah, Django Fett. So known from. Um yeah. Uh, it, it does kind of remind me of his excited film. Not gonna lie. I think because he he's still on as a producer. I don't know. I'm just really obsessed with Zack Snyder. I don't know why I keep saying that. He's God. He is the gods. Um, yeah, I, like I, I, I can't see anything happening like bad with it really. I, yeah, I've got no complaints really. Yeah, that's like the one thing that I found weird. Is that I got no complaints about this. Um, I'm trying to think of it like just a negative, just something that I can. No, can't really think of anything. Nope. Uh. I'm literally, literally just trying to think of something. Maybe. Oh, I got nothing. Okay, okay. Maybe my only worry is, which is like, uh, my only slight worry is that. I hope it's a long film. Mm. Like two and a half hours, because there's a lot of stuff they have to cover in this film. But yeah, other than yeah. that, I'm I'm happy with it really. Yeah. Yeah, and of course, Mera's looking hella fine. Okay. Oh, that suit. That suit oh. is on point. Ah, oh, suit. Yeah. Um. So. Let's move on to the next topic: the Batman. Alright. Info so broke. I don't know. Is this con? Is it really confirmed? Like, is it fully confirmed? Because I'm kind of confused now. I think it is just a rumor, though. Like, it's a big rumor. It's a big rumor. Yeah. Like Some a people are taking it so seriously that it is confirmed, but it's, I don't think it's. I don't think it is. Matt Reeves hasn't said it though. People's like, oh, exactly. someone's. It's like it's like you know those things in school where they're like, oh, his friend said that she said that he said that, the teacher said that his cousin said this to him, and then it was like, oh, my 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 brother's best friend's sister's cousin, uh, college <laughs> roommate's uh, friend's <laughs> producer director said this. Yeah. <laughs> Pretty much, that's how it goes. Um, but we'll we'll take this with a grain of salt. Um, okay, so the rumor is that it's, it's taking, this Batman it's like film. It's taking inspiration from uh, Batman Year One. Yeah, and it's set when Batman's around late twenties, early thirties. Mm-hmm. Um, and I'm okay and with that. There's no like origin story in this movie. Yeah, which is good because we've already established him in the DCU. Yeah, um, again, which I like, so we can just go straight into it. Mm-hmm. Um. Uh, yeah, I'm Harvey excited. Dent. 
Hobby Dent. Yeah, Hobby Dent. So, yeah, yeah. Yeah, but not Two Face people. He he's it's gonna be like just Hobby Dent as a lawyer. You've heard that quote before in Batman Missy Man, isn't it? How many good guys are left? How many stay that way? Oh yeah. Um, yeah, I'm excited. Like it's the Batman. It's Matt Reeves. Um, it, it's I also hope. gonna like cast someone younger than Ben Affleck. Okay, like, the thing is, yeah. I hope, I yeah. hope, I hope, I hope, I hope that mm-hmm. it's... So, like, other people are going to get upset about that as well. No, 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 this is how they do it. It's a flashback story, isn't it? So at the beginning of the film, you have Ben Affleck just reminiscing about his past. Him narrating over, over like, the... In the beginning. And then it cuts, it yeah. just flashes back to a younger Batman. Also, like, um, in the movie, I want them to address the, the killing rule. Like why yeah. Batman killed in BVS? Yeah, nah, cause he's pissed in BVS. Like he's seen shit. Yeah. He's been yeah. through. He's been through shit. Yeah. Like, so it's gonna be like. Hell a lot. What like it, it, it's gonna be a dark film, like mm-hmm. he has to go down this dark path to where he leads to BVS. So, Robin gets killed. Jason Todd, Nightwing leave. Well, Rob, Dick Grayson leaves him. Oh yeah, yeah. Okay. So how about they do this? Yet? They bring in um, a Robin, yeah. Yeah. But I'm not sure like which one, like Dick or Jason. Yeah. Uh, it's either between those two, yeah. We yeah. can have them be in the movie. Mm-hmm. Um, but like age them up a little bit. I don't yeah. want to like kids <laughs> like being Robin. Like in the early twenties. Like... Yeah. Early twenties. Like, yeah. Yeah, something like that, and then have a relationship between uh, Bruce and. The other Robin, which we don't know yeah. who can be there. Um, but I. So if they're gonna be getting a younger Batman, that means they have to change the suit. Um, yeah, I think they can keep it relatively the same, but like just tweak it up a bit so it's just slightly th- uh, slimmer. Mm, yeah. Um, yeah. Um, again, like I want to see like why Batman's so pissed. Like again. Have yeah, Robin yeah. leave him, or like have Jason Todd get killed, have Barbara get paralyzed, have uh, Selena Carr leave him uh, and go somewhere else, have Joker just screw up with him, yeah. have Do the Court of Owls just. Selena Kyle, I'm just saying. I would have, oh man, Morana, Bac- Morana Bacani as Selena Kyle's. I hope, I really hope. Because it's not an origin story, so they can go straight into it. Yeah, it's, um, it's about his first mission as... Yeah. Well, like, I think he'll be relatively around his second to, like, third, fourth year as Batman. Mm. Uh, which I'm okay with. Uh, apparently, what I've heard, yeah, is that he's already uh, been heard in Gotham as being a dark entity in, in, in the film. Yeah. So he's already established in that film, mm-hmm. so... Um, and this is, like, what, 20 years before Batman v Superman, Man of Steel. Yeah. So, like... It can be on its own as well, like a standalone film, which I like as well. Um, yeah. But do it like a Man of Steel, where there's like such subtle Easter eggs, like you have to go back and watch it again. Like a Man of Steel, like it didn't. It, that's what I like about Man of Steel. It just focuses on Superman. The only hint yeah. that we got about um, other stuff that like, to expand the universe was the Lex Luthor truck that got exploded in the Zod fight in Metropolis, and the and the satellite that had Wayne Wayne's logo on it. Those were the only two like Easter eggs that like you could, that I could think of right now, that were in Man of Steel. That is it. Hmm. Yeah, yeah. Maybe like in in the Batman film, they can just be like, uh. They be like sort of hints to uh, Lex Corp. No, they, oh they yeah, hey, what if they do? L- Alexandra Luther Senior dies. Oh shit. Yeah, that or like yeah, they, they cast uh. Yeah. Lex Luthor Sr. In, in like there's a board meeting between Bruce Wayne and, and Lex Luthor Sr. Brian Cranston you know just, just... Oh, who knows people yeah um but what kind of Batman story do you want to see like action detective noir uh well well Matt B's already yeah, said he wants a noir Detective uh, Batman yeah. first movie. So it's gonna be like Sherlock Holmes with explosions. Yeah. Um, 
Yeah, have it like the thing is we've never clearly had a full on detective Batman film. I mean, we, we did have like a like only one detective scene in the Dark Knight with the bullet, yeah, like, with the brick, yeah, yeah, yeah. But that was it. That was that was only like fifteen minutes. Of yeah, well, that was only it. And then after that, it was something else. Yeah. Um. um but people were like uh, complaining. Wait, no, not complaining, but like comparing this uh, to Batman Begins. I mean, it kind of is at the same time, but like I, I kind of disagree on it. Yeah, because Batman Begins is clear; it's, it's his origin. Everything yeah, revolves origin. around to with his origin about like you know, with his with his parents getting killed. Mm-hmm. Um, uh, I'm trying to think. Like, what else can they implement? A younger James Gordon, a younger Alfred. I think they can keep yeah. Jeremy Irons. Jeremy Irons as Alfred in the film. Just, yeah, make, just put makeup to make him younger. Yeah. CGI that face, I don't know. Yeah. Do something. Um, and have like Ben Affleck narrate over, just be like, oh, there was a time where everything was a lot simpler. I, I want them to incorporate the Call of Owls, if it's true. Oh, yeah. I'd love to see that. Because of it being a detective story, I want some Call of Owls. Because, like, when people ask me where do where do like me where do I where do I start reading Batman? I always say it, I always tell everyone, read Scott Snyder's run, uh, on Batman, which is the Court of Owls arc, and that's where I started myself. Uh, it, it's just really good. But you can't screw up on the Court of Owls. Mm. That's the perfect story right there. Yeah, like have this Batman a bit more like cocky, a bit more like angry, pissed. Um, outgoing because like in BVS you could tell he was very secluded to himself everyone was shocked when he went to Lex Luthor's party and everyone was like oh he's he's appeared somewhere uh, have yeah. like just expand the Gotham universe have like uh, Harvey Bullock James Gordon uh, Montoya um, uh, what's his name um yeah, yeah, just penguin. Oh yeah, yeah, penguin, penguin, yeah, yeah. Penguin. But um, is he gonna be like? Um... Oh, I was gonna think. We're gonna make him like a side villain. Yeah, he'll be a side villain. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I think that's that's all we have to say about Batman. We've been kind of blank right now. We're just speculating. Yeah. Um, but uh, I I would definitely get news by. September, October, something we'll get big news by it then. I think because they've they're they're already in pre-production. I think for the film. Oh yeah, yeah. Um, twenty twenty, hopefully early twenty twenty. Mm-hmm. That that would be amazing. Early twenty twenty. Yeah. Like March twenty twenty. I'd like that. <laughs> yeah. Exactly. Yeah. Um. So what else should we talk about? Um. Uh, uh, should uh, we go on to the, the Joker film? Yeah. Didn't we talk about that in the okay. last video? Huh? Didn't we talk about that last video? Uh, well now they dropped some new stuff for it. Uh, talking about two actors that are going to be in the film. Oh um, shit, yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, Carry on. So, okay, it was, uh... Okay, I can't remember her name, but she was in Deadpool. Yeah. Uh, to, uh, the, the girl that played Domino. Yeah. So she's gonna be. Uh, it's not official, but it's kind of rumored that she's in talks to play the Joker's wife. Mm-hmm. And another guy, uh, which I'm just kind of blanking right now because I actually forgot the name of the actor. But he he's gonna be one of the Falcons. Robert De Niro. I think yeah, I think it's him. Yeah, Robert De Niro. Oh. Uh, Clear Oscar winner. Right this is gonna win an Oscar already. Look, you have. Joaquin Phoenix yeah, and Robert De Niro. What? Calling for an Oscar on it. Like this, the whole DC Black Label is pretty much Image Comics. They just stole <laughs> Image. <laughs> <laughs> we'll just give writers and directors creative freedom with this label. Do whatever you want. That's clearly DC Black. Come on, it, it truly is. Have you seen the trailers for it? With uh, yeah. the three Jokers <laughs> yeah. and Batman, damned. It's clearly Image Comics. 
Yeah. Like they're swearing and like violence and gore. I'm like, yeah, this is a clear image, man. Profanity. Todd McFarlane, uh, get ready. You got... Okay, the more that he say about it, the more I realize that, yeah, this is image comics. Yeah. Um. Again, we, we're going in blank with the Joker film. 2019 is still... So they should start filming now then. Like any week, any month now, they should just start filming and shooting. Yeah, exactly. So we should get like some news on it. Um, mm. Should we go t talk about the Snyder Cut now? Yep. Okay. Straight after Comic Con, we've had multiple, multiple deleted scenes. Um, one major scene was Cyborg playing football um, uh, with yeah, his yeah. mum yeah, in, in the audience. Why was this cut? Another reason, why was this cut? I don't get that. How, how, how would this be cut? Man? And there's that bullshit article from Wall Street Journal that are like, oh, the effects aren't done. And it doesn't exist. Well, sure, well... Sure. <laughs> no, I don't, I don't... <laughs> like, like, you clickbait <laughs> people. Eclipse, Jay Oliva, he's a, he's a friend of Zack Snyder. Have you seen his tweet? He's like, it exists. He worked on the film and he clearly said on Twitter, it exists. So it exists. It's a matter of when and why. Really. Like that shot of... I want to see his cyborg's origin. That's the thing. I feel like for non-comic fans who saw the theatrical cut for Justice League wouldn't know who the hell cyborg is. To be honest. Like the fact that that that, that three seconds of footage with his mum and him playing football and him smiling to... Is it, is it just... That, that that three seconds of itself just tells a full-on story. Yeah. And it's so, like, the, the 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 cinematography on that shot, when, like, he's diving for the ball, and there's oh snow yeah, on him. that was actually sick. Like, it looks so good. The lighting, the snow, it just, it just, it's, it's such a good, like, shot. Oh, my Lord. Even in the trailer that came out, like, last, last year. Um, that's another scene. Another another one was where Aquaman uh, was given a card. No, wait. Yeah, Aquaman's given a card uh, from Wayne. Again, why was it cut? Uh, and then there was a scene where the, the actor who played OG, uh, Jimmy Olsen, in the OG Superman films... Oh, him, him. Yeah, yeah. He was a police officer. Yeah. His... All of his stuff was cut as well. Um... And it's pissing me off. something about this that he was upset about, in it? Yeah. Even he was like, I want the director's cut. And even like the the voice actor of Steppenwolf, he, he was like, uh, uh, I want the director's cut as well because I didn't put so much hard work and effort just for that thing, that garbage to come out. I'm paraphrasing at the moment. Yeah. Um, scene, you see, people care, WB. Yeah, people actually care. And the thing even is... Even your actors... Now in the movie in just the care. Yeah. So okay. Yeah, exactly. If but the thing is the the fact you know when um the the deleted stuff got leaked on the internet, WB yeah. had everything taken down. So that I'm I'm that, that gets me thinking. The, like why did they take that down then if they don't really care about it? They, do they have something in mind about actually releasing it? Or is it uh, that scene with Darkseid? Yeah, even that scene with Darkseid as well. Where Cyborg's oh, looking up to the sky and you can clearly tell that... You can clearly tell that... that that's that's Darkseid. Um, I would have just, like... I would have, like, shit myself if I saw Darkseid on the screen just, like, looking dead-eyed on to, like, like, at you. Yeah. With his, like, red eyes. And it's Dark Side. Why would you cut Dark Side from the side, film? Why would you cut him off? And there that was, was the most piss taking thing about it. And there was a whole apparently the, the the you know the flashback of the war between Stephen Wasami and, and like on on oh, Earth. Yeah, yeah. That had like under ten minutes of footage apparently. Um, like we actually were supposed to get dialogue from Artemis, from Zeus, from Ares. Oh shit. Uh, and that the. When Steppenwolf hit his axe down, that was like the anti-life equation, that the writing that was on the floor. Oh my god, oh yeah, yeah, yeah. he was fighting for the anti-life equation. Yeah. 
and then he oh, lost. Shit, that. And that's why Darkseid exiled him. See, it makes sense. Give me the give me the director's cut right now. Give me the. You know what, Doggy B? If if you're, you know, for some reason or magically, if you're watching this video, call me and YK two YK two K. Yeah. yeah. We'll do the films for you. All right. Make yeah. Us even the executive producer. Yeah. Yes. Please. I don't. We know nothing about filmmaking at all. But like, we'll, we'll we clearly take the role. We, yeah. yeah we know about DC. And we know it's current shit. Okay. Yeah. So make us executive producers. And you know, we will make you. Billions of uh, uh, dollars. It's annoying because, like, I have to defend it. Every time they're like, whoa, what's your favorite superhero films? Uh, when people ask me, I'm like, okay, uh, it's the Dark Knight trilogy, oh, yeah. it's the Dark Knight trilogy, and then it's Man of Steel, and then it's BVS Ultimate Edition. And everyone's see, like, what? Uh, and I'm like, it's, uh, it, I have to defend it. It's like, it's like fighting every time for something. You see, people, us fans, uh, have to. It's, it's like a war for us. Yeah. It's, it's basically a war uh, for us fans because we have to defend so many comic book movies, especially yeah. if it if it wasn't critically acclaimed. Oh, yeah. We go into uh, savage mode. Yeah. Basically. Man of Steel is the reason why I like Superman to this day. If I ever met Zack Snyder, I'd be like, thank you for making me love this character. I seriously would. I would cry. I would shake the man's head. Uh, I'd bow. I'd like, yeah. <laughs> would literally like, bow. <laughs> <laughs> like it, it is true. I don't know. I don't know who said. It. I think it was Jay Oliver. He was like, in ten years' time, people are gonna miss Zack Snyder's films, like his style of films. That there's of so much the depth. Director, he like so many good things. He's such a good visionary director. There's so much depth in his films. In Watchmen, exactly. in Man of Steel, in the Ultimate Cut of uh, BVS. I think people uh, like Zack Snyder like now, even before. Yeah. Because everyone was like complaining about his own style of uh, acting. Yeah. No, no, sorry, not acting, directing. Yeah. Because uh, it was like very, you know, slow or something like yeah. that. Because he done, done like slow motion as well. Yeah. Oh, no, my favourite my favorite movie. Batman origin scene is BVS. It's from The Dark Knight Returns. The slow motion with the music, the Hans Zimmer. Yeah, Zimmer film. yeah that, that's my favourite Batman uh, origin scene. And it's taken is 17 that- times for that to happen. And my favorite one came the out two years ago. Made you come out of your seat. Yeah, was a... dude, see like... Superman's funeral with the. They had the the mirroring between the the, the funeral in the cut the, the Kent farm and the funeral in Metropolis. That was filmed oh, so yeah. beautifully, and with the the bagpipes. The, I can quote oh, so bagpipes. many quotes from from his films. It's insane. Um, and I always rewatch like his films and trailers as well. I, I rewatched the Man of Steel trailer when I got up this morning, just to let you know. Oh yeah, you know so I was kind of okay back then uh, when Justice came out. Mm-hmm. I can't believe I said I liked it. And oh, I, I was like that it. as well. I was like that I as well. Defended it. Yeah. I was every DC movie. I defended Justice League. Yeah. But then, like, it grew on you. Like day, day by day, it you were like, me. "Hang on, but, it, you just noticed the mistakes like, and the stuff." Yeah, exactly. Was I as much as I watched it on repeat? I'm like, wait, hang on. There's like a few things that I kind of yeah. missed. Like, why is the coloring different? Why is there jokes? Why is Batman smiling? Why does he look fat? Why does this look like a reshoot? Why is he so useless? Exactly. Batman's the core <laughs> of Justice League. He should. He should have been the core of the film. Why is there so many Wonder Woman parts? Yeah, what's with your shots? Like I like I like I like Gal Gadot, but come on, like I mean, like, I'm not complaining, but you know, it's it's a bit it's like Transformers, like they have these like these super sexy models, and they have these super sexy models, and like it comes to a point where like just do something, stop looking good, and actually do something. You want dimensional characters. Exactly. Um. I don't even know what the f- like fuck yeah Flash was doing. <laughs> Brunch. I don't even know what he was doing. I love brunch, yeah. Why? Why put that brunch quote in? Oh, brunch. Like, you can tell what scenes are Zach's and what t- what scenes are the reshoots. You can clearly tell. It, it's uh, I don't blame Joss Whedon, okay? Like, I don't blame him. He had sick. He had what three months to do everything. Like, I don't blame exactly. him. I blame WB. Under huge pressure, yeah, and he had to like finish the film. I don't yeah. blame. Him. I just blame WB for giving him 
like, short time. The thing about WB is that the the film was done when Slender left. It was yeah, it said ninety nine percent complete, and you can clearly see that from the deleted effects that came out. The fact that the Superman return scene when he was in the Fortress of Solitude, why was that deleted? Oh, black suit. The black suit. The Snap black Snap suit was there. The black suit. With the Man of Steel film, the Man of Steel theme as well, and that wasn't even in Justice League. Exactly. Um, the the scene where Alfred's like, "Oh, let's hope you're not too late." He said you'd come. That was deleted, and that was like such a talking point in the trailer when that came out. They should have just kept it. I don't get why they took it out. And people even people have seen the Snyder Cut as well. Um, if you watched, uh, Kevin Smith's uh, podcast review. On Justice League. Oh, yeah, that's yeah, remember he was like, uh, someone was like, oh, a Green Lantern appeared at the end of the film. Oh, yeah, well, when they, when the, was it, uh, the woman? Yeah. She went to, like, a private screening or something. Yeah, and Kilowog and Tomar and Ray said, appeared. There was dark side. Why dark would you side. delete that? <laughs> really? Snyder Cut, man, this is... Like, I'm always up to, like, every day I always, like, check online, on Twitter, on Instagram, on Google. Uh, if, if there's any, I'm so addicted to this flipping story. I've never been so, like, immersed in, like, a pop culture, like, a thing before, ever since Man of Steel came out. Don't forget, with the nerds. Oh, yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah. But, like, if you're watching this, I urge you to, like, if you're a fan of Zack Snyder or, like, any of his films or DC films, please watch uh, Chris Wong, the Chris Wong Swanson, the ping pong flick show. Uh, he's, yeah. he's always... Uh, Releasing Snyder Cut news, uh, which he uploaded yeah, today as well. I like that guy; he's reliable. Um, uh, the film junkie, uh, Lantern Two Eight One Four. His podcast came out yesterday, which I, I was also listening watch, to. Uh, Kevin Smith, okay. Uh, and Kevin Smith, yeah, watch Kevin Smith as well. Who doesn't know Kevin Smith, man? Yeah, everyone should know who Kevin Smith is. Such a nice guy. I want to meet him. Um, what the deleted stuff came out? There was, oh yeah, apparently there was like this. Um, Batman at the end. Uh, Batman uh, on the what was it? He was battling the parademons with like a, a machine thing. Yeah, the the the, the cannon. There was like oh, an anti anti air cannon, and you could clearly see it in the the actual film when he landed on the the tower. It just cut away from it. Yeah. Again, why? There was that a was bit so where annoying. That I was listening to Lantern Two Eight One Four's podcast yesterday. There was a bit where. Uh, in the final act, Batman was gonna go on like on a suicide mission against Steppenwolf. On like how like, Shit. yeah, like this is dark. Like he was literally gonna like go on a suicide mission to take down Steppenwolf until like the Justice League comes in and like helps him at the end. So that was cut. Um, Why? <laughs> this is Batman, man. Like, don't do that to Batman. Why are you gonna ruin Batman? That that shit, man. Um. You can clearly, like, if you There's look at the trailers... Them every day. Exactly. Yeah. Um, in trailer, the trailer one for uh, Just League, there's that bit where uh, Flash, like, moves out of the way of a parademon, point blank right in front of him, and he, like, he moves out of the way and pushes him. That was oh, yeah, cut. Yeah. The, the bit where Cyborg's mask goes over him as he flies, that was cut. Oh, yeah. Um, the bit where... where where uh, when Superman's fighting the league and then the tank gets not the tank but like the truck uh, almost like hits the the police guard, and Cyborg's like you should probably move that was cut. Mm-hmm. Um, the well, this movie this this director's cut has to be at least two and two and a half hours long, two hours yeah. fifty minutes three hours. I got three hours actually. I yeah, literally go three, three hours. Yeah. yeah, and the f- and um, I think the the actor who played Jimmy Olsen said that the the resurrection fight was supposed to take at the take place at the beginning of the film. Really? Yeah. Like the oh, the shit. first third of the film. So that clearly indicates there was a lot more going on in the middle and the end. That this had more reshoots then any other film and it's 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 so obvious it's a reshoot you compare it to the trailer and you compare it to the movie yeah it's different lighting different tone yeah different Batman for some reason yeah even the clothes are different you can clearly tell like 
one shot Ben Affleck's hair is different and all curled up the other shot it's straight yeah there's even the, the the bit in the in the trailer you see Ben Affleck wearing like a black uh, shirt when they're all around the mother box but in the theatrical mm-hmm. cut he's yeah. wearing this waistcoat this white waistcoat and he looks fat <laughs> so yeah um Warner Bros have to like release it I think they just fair enough I had a feeling it wasn't gonna appear at Comic Con cause they wanna promote Aquaman and Shazam or oh, uh, uh, they're trying to like make us forget about the Snyder Cut yeah we but ain't done. we ain't done, yeah, done. We ain't done. until until Walter Hamada Zack Snyder any executive like high executive at WB uh, WB wow well, WB dub, any high executive at WB Jay Oliva or like any of like the actors say it does not exist or it does exist it does not it's not getting released if the, then I'll stop but until that day comes I, I'll I'll keep fighting for the Snyder Cut same I'll sign up as many petitions as I can. Yeah. I'll even rant about it. Yeah. I'm, just, I'm not giving up on it. Yeah, I think because, like, I want to talk more about the Snyder Cut, like, consistently, because, like, a couple of months ago, like, I was, I'm just that kind of guy who just comments and stuff and just, like, says hashtag this, hashtag that, release Snyder Cut, but YouTube's a bigger platform. Mm-hmm. So it's better to, like, show your voice than just words. Yeah. So yeah. like, thank you, Ping Pong Flicks, Chris One Songson, for like, inspiring me to uh, talk about this. Um, it. When do you think the thing is? Uh, again, uh, Lantern Two Eight One Four's uh, podcast yesterday. They said that the Watchmen director's cut mm-hmm. came out a year and a half after the theatrical cut. So, just putting our tinfoil hats on, if, okay, the, the, the theatrical for Justin came out last year in November. Yeah. Sorry if you can, like, hear people in the background. <laughs> it's just uh, my neighbours, sorry. Um, so, uh, yeah, as I was saying, if, if it's a year and a half, Justin came out in November 2017. So, maybe March, April 2019... It should be released, mm. or it could be early. You never know. They they're very quiet yeah. on it. The fact that they haven't said it has not been released, or it's not going to be released, and it's, they still haven't announced that. Uh, it's, I think that's a positive thing. Yeah, I just I just don't like good. sitting in the dark. I hate sitting in the dark like this. It, it takes the piss. I'm kind of sitting in the dark right now. <laughs> That's how I am. I'm, I'm kind of isolated. You're Batman. Yeah, I'm Batman. Um, anything else? Uh, okay. So, the Green Lantern movie. Jeff Johns has, you know, said he did say um, the script is coming along, but he still needs a little bit more time on it. Mm, and he enough. kind of made a joke about uh, he wants to be in the cave. And just write for Creed Lantern. Mm, yeah. And he said that he wants to take inspiration from his uh, Green Lantern books. Oh yeah, like Jeff John is like so, the main guy for Green Lantern. Like the, the mad genius of creating, yeah. like writing. Basically. Yeah, like Green Lantern, like he pretty much made Green Lantern like popular again. Exactly. Um. So yeah, I'm looking forward to that. So we hang on. So. Looking at the slate so far, confirmed films. So we have Aquaman in December, Shazam in March, Wonder um, Woman, Wonder Woman yeah. 84 in summer, I think, Joker in Halloween, autumn, October. October. So that's four films. Then got, yeah. Then we got Shit, a confirmed. Four films. Then Batman's should be. Actually, that's quite good. Four films, wow. With, yeah, yeah, hey, yes, that's, that's a good start for 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 DC, or well, a good return point for DC. Mm-hmm. So those are fully, fully confirmed for release dates. Yeah. Then what's definitely happening is Batman. Um, Green Lantern's in the works. Birds of Prey is in the works. So that's what seven seven films that's uh, upcoming, and then like there's the the rumored. Uh, Suicide Squad film, the rumored Nightwing film, the rumored the flipping Deathstroke film, the rumored 
uh, Man of Steel sequel, the rumored Joker, Jared Leto film, the rumored. I don't, I don't really care about those things at the moment. Hmm. So I don't we really have. Care about the Jared Leto yeah, same. Movie. Just put him as a villain, man. Don't give him a. For some reason, I just care about the Quai Huan uh, Phoenix Joker yeah. film more. Yeah. Yeah. Agreed. Um. When's that Nightwing film, man? What happened to that? They have a direct. And the Chris Flash McKay, film as well. Chris McKay's been very, very quiet about this. Yeah. Even the Flash directors, the the people, those. Oh my god, yeah, they've been very quiet. Like, They're quiet I, I on don't that. Think they even said anything. Then there's a New Gods film. Which I, I hope that, that gets pushed back to like. Development. I hope that New Gods film gets on put on hold because I am not ready for a New Gods film yet. I don't think it's time. Yet. Yeah. So in like twenty twenty two or something like that. Yeah. Um. So we have seven confirmed films, which I'm all excited for. Just have. I just want. Just. Give us a Man of Steel two, people. Yeah, Superman. <laughs> And a director's cut for Justice League. I'll put that in the slate as well. Oh, oh yeah. Um, does Teen Titans go count? I guess it does. Does uh, it count? Does Lego Batman 2 count? Can... Will, will Lego Batman 2 get a sequel? I think... Uh, I haven't heard anything Oh, about wait, never mind. The Lego movie 2 is coming anyway, so that's... Never mind. Oh, yeah. Um, I don't think they've announced the trailer. They showed a trailer for that on YouTube yet. It must have been exclusive to the people at the paddle. Um, so yeah, release the Snyder Cut. I'm just, I need it so badly. I have the Blu-rays. I have the Blu-rays for Man of Steel, for Watchmen, for Batman v Superman, for Suicide Squad, Extended Cut, and Wonder Woman. Just holding that Blu-ray for the Snyder Cut, man. It's, it's, the OCD is killing me. It, no, it's especially because I got no Blu-rays. If they do release the Snyder Cut, I'll get that. Yeah. Definitely. Or like, if they can do it smart and have the Snyder Cut released on the upcoming DC streaming service, hmm. I think that would be a neat way to like show it to people. Uh, yeah. Yeah. But again, I don't think. Um, I'm just waiting on like when it's gonna be released for the UK for the oh, DC yeah, streaming yeah. service. So it's coming out in August for for the US only, and then maybe I think winter. It'll be winter of this year because it's going to be in beta form. So yeah, I, definitely by winter we should get a UK release. Because I'm totally up for that. Like I don't even watch Netflix anymore, to be honest. I've been watching more Netflix now because I I don't find anything interesting on TV anymore. Ah, fair enough. To be honest, all I've been watching is anime, really. Uh, Shit, I still need to watch My Hero Academia. Oh, so good. Damn. So good. I think I'm going to start today. Yeah, yeah, Wait, are you on season three yet? Yeah, I finished uh, season one and season two. Oh, season three is so... Oh, it's so good. It's like the most inspirational shit I've ever seen. Like, Deku and Batman are like my favorite superheroes. This, just those two. <laughs> It literally is, like, I've never seen a superhero like Deku before, like, so relatable. Also, I go for the underdogs, isn't it? Oh, uh, yeah. Todoroki, number one. Todoroki's, he's so OP. He's yeah, actually, done. he's too OP. He's, done. he's a boss, like, he's, he's what I wanted Sasuke to be in Naruto. But I think, okay, we're, we're going way too ahead of ourselves yeah, right now. I think, Sorry, we'll, we'll, like, yeah, <laughs> we'll keep, we'll keep this uh, to, we'll probably make, I'll probably make like a separate anime podcast series. We'll call it something else. Um. So yeah, I think that's, we've said everything that we wanted to. Knowing our luck, there's going to be news as we end this podcast right now. Um. So anything else, any last minute stuff that you want to say? Has been watching this podcast, uh, please go and subscribe to my channel, HR15. If you want to know more about your comic heroes, about their history, go check out my channel if you want. And also subscribe to this guy's channel right here. Mm -hmm. He makes amazing content and you'll probably love it. 
Right. Thank you. Um, so with that said, thank you for watching the Brave and the Bold podcast. Oh, listening to Brave and the Bold co- listening to the Brave and the Bold podcast. Um, I uh, hope you enjoyed it. Let me know what you think in the comments below. Do you think what are your thoughts on the Shazam and Aquaman trailers? What are your thoughts on Comic Con overall? Uh, what are your thoughts on the Snyder Cut? Um, and with that said, release the Snyder Cut. Stay humble and peace. See you guys next time. Okay.